no introduction. Let's get straight to it. Um, second all time in assists. I'm second all time in steals. I'm third all time in three pointers made behind Reggie Miller and Ray Allen. I'm third all time in triple doubles behind Oscar Robertson and Magic Johnson. I'm tied for all time consecutive playoff appearances in a row. And I'm tied, I'm tied with two people who were on the same team. I'm tied with John Stockton and and, 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 and Carl Malone, but I did it with like three different teams, which makes it a little bit more impressive to me. Um, um, wait a minute. Where, 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 where did I leave off at? Oh, my wins. Okay. I'm an NBA champion and I was rookie of the year. I'm the best player ever. Now, let me tell you how that shit started, Chris. Now, do you agree that he has an argument? No, Jason Kidd's not the best fucking player ever. No, but nobody's career can say, nobody can say I'm in a, a class of passing with, with, with John Stockton, and I'm in an elite class of being all around the board with Oscar, and then I shoot like Reggie, though. And I'll steal it from you like me, because I'm second all the time. You feel me? So, no, he's not the best player ever, but he has the numbers. And let me tell you how it started. It started with me trolling numbers don't lie, because I don't like that statement, because I feel like not numbers don't. Listen, here, here, let me just give you an example. Because people use numbers and to lie. Or not even to lie, but just to give their opinion. Numbers don't lie. Specific numbers don't lie. Like this. Who led the league in rebounds? Dwight Howard. He has blah, 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 blah. Who's a better rebounder? I'm going to use your dude, Chris. Dwight Howard or, or Kevin Love. Anything you say after now is your opinion. I don't give a fuck about a number. I don't give a fuck who led the league in what, when they did it, whatever. It's my opinion. It's your opinion. So who led the league in passing? Pay man. He threw for blah, 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 blah. Who's a better quarterback? Drew Brees or Aaron Rodgers. There's nothing you could tell nobody. Like, Dame. There's no number you could give Dame to prove that Aaron Rodgers is better than Drew Brees. Same probably with me and uh, Rodgers. I don't, and, I, and I love Brees, but I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just using an example. And, and that's what I mean by numbers don't lie. Like, numbers do lie because you lie. And you're giving all your numbers to do it. Don't tell me fucking do nothing. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? So, that's how that started. Do you agree now? Would you agree that Jason Kidd does have an argument as the best player ever? Second all-time everything? Third all-time everything else? Winner. He got a ring. He's got as many rings as Oscar Robertson. Right? Your boy. Okay, so look now. Here it goes. Here, here's, here it is, Chris. Your views of the old school are so respectful that they're disrespectful and it boils down to this here's what you're trying to do because here remember how it started i said that the players and athletes are better now than they were then so what you're trying to do to make yourself right is you're trying to isolate the best you said bring up will now will i, I did some history on Will. will was a motherfucker will was a motherfucker when he came in now listen First of all, when he came into the league, he was like 250. And they say he looked smaller than that. And if you look at him, he looks small. Will, but he, he became 275 and the Lakers ended up into 300, but he was bigger than. But we're not even going to no, He was fast. We're just going to end that at that. Will was a, a fast big man. Strength, I can't measure. I'm not even going to try to. So he was an athlete, period. Which, so what you're trying to do is you're trying to isolate the best athletes at that time. You're probably trying to take about four people. Yeah, here's what you're trying to do. You're trying to take Bill Russell, Oscar Robinson, Elgin Baylor, and um and Will Chamberlain and 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 make them the athletes of today are better now than then. Motherfucker, I said everybody. Don't try to take the best athletes and say that they're good as that everybody is that good. Because now, let me explain something to you, Chris. Athletes are better than now than they were back then. And let me give you an example. When Michael Jordan played in the league, he was the best athlete in the league. There's no comparison. I don't want to even listen to you. We're not going there. He was the best athlete in the league, period. It was a couple, it was only a couple people who were 
equal. Dominique, Clyde. I'm done naming. I'm, 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 it's over. In his later careers, maybe the camps and all that shit. But no, he was the best athlete in the league at the time. Now, you put him in the league. You put him on the Toronto Raptors. Put him on the Toronto Raptors. He could very well possibly be the third best athlete on the team. Behind DeRozan and Ross. And if he's not the third, I'm not saying that he is. I'm just saying he could be. And they're equal athletes to him. And that's on one team. And we're talking about somebody who was the best at what we're talking about. Put him on one team and two people are equal. And we're not even going to the bronze and all of the other shits. And then you say, oh, do you think they could compete? Listen, let me tell you about that word. I'm about to work this young boy, Bale. For real, I'm about to. Look, let me tell you about that word. They, they, um, they asked Bill Russell about the rivalry between him and Will. He said, man, what? I don't remember the exact number, but it was a high number. He said, man, we played, we played in the finals by about time. I think it was like eight. He said we played like, I don't remember. He said he never beat me. Basically, he never beat him. So, so, so if Will never beat Curry, I mean, what's his name? Is that competing? Was he competing with Russell if he never beat him? I don't give a fuck what you were doing, what numbers you were putting up. You never beat me. So what is competition, Chris? Huh? You can't even really name like five or six players from the 60s that weren't Celtics. You can't name more than three. Clearly you can't. And let's talk about your boy. Oscar Robertson came into the league in 1960. He won a ring in 71. He won a ring after Russell was done winning. Was he competing? Was he competing? I don't give a fuck what numbers you were putting up. Triple double my nuts. Were you competing? Is that competing? You're not winning shit. Nothing. Are you competing? Huh? They both got one ring. No, no, no. What's the name? Got two. Will got two. Will got two. They both got a ring. Let's just say a ring. So, nigga, many is Jason Kidd, like I said. Was Jason Kidd, and Jason Kidd came in the league, it, it, was he competing with Kobe? No. Uh-uh, he wasn't. Nigga, so, so, so how you gonna say I could take the best... Could could Will and Oscar compete now? They weren't even competing then. If you really just want to be a 100 about being the best, you said let's talk about the, the goat, the goat, and all that shit. If we if we put on terms of being the goat, you have to be a winner. Them niggas wasn't winning shit. Right or wrong though. It took the nigga 11 years to win a ring. You asked him, you said bring up Oscar Robertson. It took him 11 years to win a ring. Was he competing? So I don't want to hear that shit, Chris. You know the athletes are better now, dog. You know that in the talent level. When I say athletes, I really mean the game. Of, you can't just make the NBA off being an athlete. No, you got to have the game too. You got to have the game too. Am I saying they cannot make the NBA? I'm not necessarily saying that, but I know for a fact that they could not dominate. I know that to be true. And it's just, Chris, life is better now, dude. The women are better. The food's better. The fucking technology. Look what I'm doing right now. Will could never do this. Look what I'm doing. How did he fuck with 10,000 women without a fucking phone? <laughs> fuck out of here. And he was a liar. Look, 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 yeah. I got, what's the last thing I'm going to say about Wilt? You said bring up Wilt. This motherfucker said that the 1969 Sixers would beat the Dream Team. So out that same mouth, you think he fucked 10,000 women? I think he's an exaggerating motherfucker. That's what the fuck I think about him. So I don't give a fuck about Wilt. But I do respect him. And I do, you know what I'm saying? And look. These niggas was the best at what they did back then, athletically wise. And this is what you see the product of it. Will averaged 50. Will was the only nigga that averaged 30 and 20. Will got a 50 rebound game. Russell won as many rings as you got fingers. Um, they were just dominating the league at this time. And they were the only people who were good enough to do it. Now you got people who, Jason Kidd is the Oscar Robertson. And I just had to convince you why. 
but you wouldn't put him in the class of Jordan and all this shit because you're used to seeing people that are actually better than what the shit Oscar was doing. Jason Kidd did it. Jason Kidd would have been a 30 and all of that shit back then. All of it. You know what I'm saying? In 1997, they had to outlaw a move from Allen Iverson. You think you put him in 1967 and they're going to be great defenders? Oscar or Bill Russell was going to be able to hold the crossover? Come on, dude. He was about to get his ass worked. <laughs> Them little ass shoes they had on, it was going to be breaking ankles. I, like I said, I read up on Will. I'm going to tell you something impressive, though. They said he used to break niggas up. Duncan, though. Catch a nigga's hands on the rim. They said he broke Johnny Red's. Johnny Red Kerr's toe on a dunk. How do you break a nigga toe, Duncan? I don't get it. So for that, yeah, Will could survive NBA today. But don't try to make Will and Oscar and Bill and, 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 and Belgian Baylor everybody, nigga. Because them niggas are not as good as the people not. They're not. They are not. And I'm not saying them niggas. I'm saying them niggas overall. I said the talent and athleticism is better now than it was then. You only name four people. Danny Green are like the building up in the 60s. Nigga J.R. Smith a jump over Russell Head. I'm naming role players, my dude. Harrison Barnes a dunk on fucking uh, Wilt. Eagle Dollar a body slam, both of them. How about that? You do you disagree? So nigga, you know what I'm saying? So so this is what you're saying. I'm naming role players. We're not even going to the LeBrons of the world. We're not even going to the KDs. We're not even going to the Russ Bricks and all this shit. We're not even going there. We're going to the role players of the world. Come on, man. So so don't don't try to convince me of some shit that's not true, dude. Because we both know what's what as far as the old athletes and the new athletes. Every era. It's always a variable. This is why you can't compare areas. It's always a variable that makes you who you are, dude. Listen, let, 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 let me break it to you. Back to your word, competing. Michael Jordan's playoff record versus Larry Bird is 12 and 1. And he got swept twice. Was he competing with Larry? Or was Larry and Magic competing? And they had to stop before Jordan started doing what he was doing. Was he competing with Larry? Yes or no? No. That 63 game, you know, the 63 through the leg, oh, the, the fade, blah, 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 blah. I had a triple-double with 34 points and 14 rebounds and 13 assists, and I swept your bitch ass. You did not get a win that series. So fuck your 63. I generated 63, and I won. You lost. So competing is winning. Niggas wasn't winning back then. The sin, You don't... Where, hey Chris, where did Russ, where did Oscar Robinson play basketball at? Where? Where did he play? Niggas wasn't winning shit. They sucked. That's what I'm saying. So, so what is competing to you? Don't tell me can they compete. No. They couldn't even compete back then. Is competing the numbers you put up? That's not competing. That's not competing. For real, nigga. That's not competing. That's putting up hella numbers and losing. I respect them niggas, dude, but don't compare them to the players now, man. Please don't. And like I said, every era had a variable. Bill Russell was the best because nobody could compete with him, period. Dr. J was the best because nobody had seen what he was doing. It was just amazing. Magic and Larry was the best because they were the best, first of all. And second of all, because they just created the TV contract came from them. They created a rivalry. They made basketball fun to watch from from um, on. They made it emotional. Jordan was the best because he was the best. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Honestly, he was just the best. It was Jordan. He didn't have any competition. It was no rivalry with him. He didn't have one. He was like Russell. But, um, and then, but here's my thing. It didn't stop with him. Kobe has the variable as well. And LeBron has a variable as well, too. Do not try to stop the, the process at Michael. You cannot do this because Michael did not come out of high school. Michael got cut his 10th grade year. That the first time I they tried to homeschool LeBron, dude, in the 12th grade. They tried to bring him into the NBA out the 11th grade and homeschool him his senior year. Jordan Wood couldn't even make his varsity team at this time. So here's my thing about LeBron and Jordan. I'm just about to simple this. 
Bottom mm-hmm. line, if Brian, if if Michael Jordan truly is better than LeBron James, it would have been at an age that LeBron James has not reached yet. The Jordan that was making thirty million a year, the thirty-two year old, thirty-three year old, thirty-four year old Jordan. That Jordan was hard to explain type of shit on the court. More complete than LeBron. He was gonna. I can't explain him because LeBron just put up one of the best game sevens I've ever seen in my life, Finals history. But, um, it's just hard to explain. But Jordan was just a little more technical with the game than LeBron at that time. So, if it is true that he's better than LeBron James, it's at an age LeBron hasn't reached because it wasn't at 16 when we started him. Let's start him from when, what we know about him. We know that Jordan got cut, and this t- we know LeBron James was the best player in the world the same year Jordan got cut. So let's start him from there. You weren't better than me at 16, definitely not at 17, not at 18, not at 19, not at 20, not at 21, not at 22, not at 23, not at 24, not at 25, not at 26. So when did he become better than LeBron? That's what I want to know. If he truly is indeed better than him, when did he become that? You let me know that, then you won the argument. And as far as the old school, new school, you could just give it up. Hey, Darius Sanders. You ask me, how's LeBron? How did I find, oh, 